Okay, today we're going to look at Burp Suits Repeater. So first let's turn on the intercept. Let's use this web page as example. So the request gets intercepted and we can go ahead and send this request to the repeater. So we can do this in one of two ways. We can go ahead and right click here and go to send to repeater or we can use the hotkeys Control plus R to send it as well. So let's go ahead and send to repeater. As we can see, the tab gets highlighted up here, and we can see our request. So repeater basically what it does is that it allows you to repeat the same request that you have intercept intercepted in the proxy. So here we have the request. And let's say we send it, we get our response right here in the right hand side. Uh, we can change this view. Right now it's set to be side by side. We can have it top and bottom or in different tabs like this. So by default it's this way and I prefer it this way. So I'm going to leave it like that. And we can also have different views of how we can view the request for example we can build it in raw as we can see here or we can build it with hex this will be useful for binary files for example if we want to see byte 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 what's happening and uh, usually we only we work with the raw because it's good enough and uh, we can also have the option here to see the escape characters as we can see we have to return a new line for most part of this request this allows to see how the header is interpreted uh, more specifically but usually it's not uh, really necessary but it can be handy sometimes and well in the right hand side we have the response we have the uh, similar options up here we can have the pretty which prettifies the output of the response we have the raw which is similar to this in the left hand side and we can also view it in hex and a uh, nice but maybe not so useful option will be the render which help us render the web page that we have requested or whatever we have requested so as you can see here it works with handily renders the page so we're going to go back with pretty because it's what we usually use in this side. And in this repeater, we can see that we have uh, tabs up here. This will be the different requests that you have sent in repeater. I have sent uh, some before this video, so we could go ahead and see the different uh, request that we have opened this can be useful if you're wor working with many different at the same time and let's say for example we can modify something here as we did in the previous previous video and let me render it i think it will be easier to see we have the community station 2021.10.3 let's say if we modify the 3 for a 2 right here and send the request we can see that the render changes and we have the version for the 10.2 instead of the 10.3 this is a simple example it really doesn't affect much you just get a different page but it's to see what we can do with it so we can also have the history tabs we can go back with the tree we have or we can go forward we can see what we have been doing so this is especially useful when we're crafting payloads we want to know what we have done what we've done that doesn't work or maybe that what works and get our payload to work so here we have also the inspector tab it is useful to see uh, what you have right here for example uh, let's say that you are not very used to reading raw request and you get a little confused this will be a high level overview of what we have so for example we have the method the http method it's the get request we have it right here but anyways we can view it in the inspector 
uh, we can change the protocol from HTTP to HTTP 1 we could also change the method, the path so everything in here that we can see we can change it and to what we would like this will be use useful for payloads uh, we can see the cookies as well they're more organized as you can see here they're like all over the place but in this side we can see it more more clearly the request headers and we also have the response headers which we can't actually modify because this is what the server um, gives us back we can't we can't change what the server gives us so this will only be information for us and yep this will be uh, like basically what the repeater does so we're going to see a little example a uh, better example so we can see how this is actually used so okay so we're going to see a little example here it is from the port sweeters web academy labs it's a really useful website it has a lot of content for people wanting to learn more about web application hacking so in this case, we're going to look at a simple SQL injection vulnerability, which is a type of attack. In this case, it is a website which has a products catalog and it has different categories. For example, it's here it says gifts. So it says gifts and we they control which gifts are seen by the user with this released equals one. So if it's one, the user will be able to see uh the gifts so our job here is to see the gifts which are not released so we want to omit this part right here and only use this part of the sql statement so we're going to go ahead and see how we can do this in the repeater so let's go ahead and access the lab okay so it loads we have the different categories here so first let's turn on intercept mode we're going to go to the gift. We have the request right here. So we're going to go to send to repeater as we saw before. And okay, so here we have the request. As we can see, the the variable category category is here. It's equal to gift. So this part gift is what is used in the SQL statement. So we want to modify this part. First, let's see what the website renders when we send the request like this. We have these three gifts, the umbrella, the snow, and the lemon. So we want to see more than this. So first, let's see if the parameter is vulnerable. We're going to add an apostrophe. And if this gives us an error, it's because the SQL statement is being interpreted and we're breaking it with the apostrophe so we're going to send it and we get an internal server error so in fact the parameter is vulnerable so we can go ahead and see what we can do so as we saw uh, we want to omit the last part of this statement which affects the release so what we're going to do is we're going to close the apostrophe from the uh, gift variable and we're going ahead and comment out the rest of the SQL statement. If you're familiar with it, SQL syntax, uh, this will make sense. We're basically just closing the, the quote on gifts and commenting out the rest of the statement. So like this, we're only going to select the gifts without restricting which ones are released or not so we can go ahead and send the request again and we get a 200 okay and if we render the website here we can see that we get a high-end gift which wasn't re released yet so we got more information from the west website than we should using the repeater from burpsit so this was just a little example so you can see a more realistic use for the repeater and uh, this will be it for the video